Hello everybody. Um, this tape is going to be on the ins installation of my port. Um, I did go to radiation for uh, for a session that earlier this morning. Uh, they they had me come in at 7:15 this morning. They opened it up special for me, apparently, so that I could uh, uh, get over to the other side of the um, hospital. Uh, to the outpatient surgery center in time for my uh, surgery. I had to be there by 8 o'clock. Um, the port is something they install into me um, in order to um, have a place to um, uh, uh, feed me chemotherapy. And uh, now that the port is there, it can be used for other purposes too. It could be used for any intravenous uh, uh, stuff that they need to feed me um, uh, if I ever go into surgery or anything like that or or they could even draw blood if I need to go to a, um, a, a blood center um, to have a blood, a blood draw they could do it from that port. The port is very simple it's uh, it's it's um, about the size of a, of a quarter um, and it's totally under the skin it's it's a it's a little disc underneath the skin. Um, you cannot see it right now because um, I have to keep the bandages. Uh, but it's it's underneath this bandage right here. I feel a little bit of a lump when I rub my fingers over it. Um, but it's going to be healed and ready by Monday morning. I'm I'm, I'm going to have my first chemotherapy session on Monday morning. Uh, today is Friday um, and 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 this other little patch up here they uh, had to make a, a small incision because uh, they feed a catheter from that port uh, and, uh, all the way over to just above the heart and they drop it down into the um, one of the main blood vessels they told me the name of it and, but I'm not very uh, good in memory uh, memorizing that kind of stuff but they had to uh, make this incision here because they um, they 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 direct that that uh, catheter from from up here over and and, and down and uh, uh, of course for the next couple of days I can't get any of this dressing wet and um, I can't do anything strenuous I you know I could move my arms around there's a little bit of diff discomfort it feels a little bit sore up in this area naturally but um it's it's not bad at all it's not nearly as bad as I thought it might be um, I can't do anything strenuous like lift weights or anything I have my little weight lifting uh, apparatus over here um, and I told them can I do at least that and they said oh no hell no that you know, lay off of your weights for three weeks so that's cool don't have to lift weights for three weeks I guess that's fine and um, work is no problem uh, I uh, because I missed a whole day of work today and I'm gonna miss a whole day of work on Monday because of my chemotherapy in order to kick off you know I, I told you earlier I was gonna wear a fanny pack and a little tube underneath my shirt and it plugs into the port for uh, um, 24 hours a day, five days in a row, then I'm off for a few weeks and then five days on again. Um, that won't be a problem with, with working. Uh, the only problem with working is, of course, some of the side uh, depends on how I react to some of the side effects. Um, that might slow me down a little bit. They did um, already give me a prescription for nausea and stuff like that, but I'm way off track. This is the port tape. I'll do a, a, a chemo tape after I go through my chemotherapy session on Monday and get all plugged up to the uh, little pump. I'll, I'll make another tape about that at that time. But uh, all in all, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, outpatient surgery went very well today. Uh, I went in early this morning and um, I was scheduled to leave the hospital at they said 1 30 or 2 o'clock well I was actually wide awake already at, at 12 30 and I called up my um, driver you can't drive a car is one of these surgeries where you, they put you under and you can't drive a car and um, 
so I'm heavily medicated right now, but I really don't feel it. Um, in fact, I woke up <laughs> 15 minutes into the surgery. They they were it's an hour long surgery, and um, uh, 15 minutes into the surgery, I woke up, and um, and they had a, a sheet or blanket or paper or something over my head. I couldn't see what they were doing. So I said, hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm awake. They said, oh, do you, uh, uh, we need to step it up, uh, give you more, um, uh, do we need to put you back to sleep? I said, no, no, don't, don't. I, I, um, I want to be aware of what's going on because I could feel them all tools and stuff, poking around, laying tools on my chest and my stomach and shoving this and shoving that. I could feel all that. But they uh, they had a local uh, anesthesia, um, so I, 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 I could not feel any pain, but I could just feel them working in that area. Um, so I, I um, laid awake for the rest of the surgery. I was, you know, very drowsy, of course, but um, uh, and, and it went fine. Um, uh, I give them high ratings for um, uh, taking very good care of me. Um, um, everybody was way overly kind to me. Um, it was um, uh, they made it into a, a decent experience. Um, so after uh, they got me out of the surgery, uh, wheeled me back to the recovery room and told me I could sit there uh, or lay there and watch TV. And when I'm uh, ready to get dressed, um, go ahead and get dressed. Well, I jumped off my gurney and got dressed. <laughs> I didn't want to stay there all day. And I called up my friend and I says, hey, I know we scheduled for um, 1.30 or 2 o'clock, but can you come and get me now? He's else here. And so he was out on his way. He was there within 15 or 20 minutes. And by then I was down in the front lobby eating donuts. They had, you know, I had a, a fast the day before. Um, I couldn't eat um, from midnight last night until this morning. And thank God they had a whole plate of donuts down in the lobby of the hospital. So I was showering down while I was waiting for my friend to come. That reminds me, I gotta eat. I haven't eaten yet since I got home and it's already uh, 10 after 2. I gotta find something to eat here. But surgery went well. It's gonna work out well. There's this port thing, you know, you know being that it's completely hidden, I got a um, operator's manual for that port someplace around here. <laughs> the do's and don'ts and how to operate it, how to keep it clean and how to keep an eye on it. And, um, all right there in English and one, two, three, four, five other languages. So I'm happy that's done. I'm happy it wasn't too traumatic, and my next big uh, uh, event is going to be the beginning of chemotherapy on Monday, and being plugged into that fanny pack and pump and 24/7 with the chemotherapy. I will be uploading a video. Um, sometime on Monday or thereafter, shortly after, to let you know how that's going. And I'll see you then. Again, thank you for listening. Bye.